Not all USB-C cables are created equally. There are a number of cables around. You can go onto Amazon and they're bloody well everywhere. But there's a few things that you should look out for when you're looking to purchase one. First and foremost is that little join that you see on some USB-C cables. That there is absolutely a weak point. It doesn't take much to crush this and get a little bit out of alignment and that thing's not gonna work anymore. But when you're looking for one, make sure it's solid all the way around. Number two is this join right here. This one here is a Apple, a USB-C Apple charger cable that came with iPhone 15 Pro Max. And although this is nice and solid all the way around here, it's no join in it. The point right here where it goes from the plastic to the USB-C cable, um, that's a weak point. Even though the cable is braided and it's a lot stronger than what they used to be, that there is still a significant weak point in a USB-C charging cable. The other thing that I would say that you need to look out for is all the gimmicky crap that you can get these days. This one here is one that I've done a review on some time ago. It's a magnetic cable. It's just a cable. It's magnetic, but it doesn't, you've still got to roll it all up. It's just a gimmick thing, you know? It doesn't matter too much. I've been testing this cable here that Zyke sent me. You may remember I did a review for Zyke. They did, uh, they make all sorts of like external hard drives and things like that for phone photography and phone videography, all sorts of things that they make. And I think they even do charging like docks and stuff. They sent me a couple of cables. This one here I've been using for about a month and it solves all those problems. There's no gimmick about this, it's just a bloody cable at the end of the day, but it's USB-C to USB-C. It data transfers at 10 gigabits a second and it charges at 100 watts. This is a pretty bloody good cable and it resolves all those other problems. USB-C port here is solid all the way around. This here is metal at the, at the tip at the end there. The cable itself is braided, so it's nice and strong, but this point right here, this is the this is the main thing that I think this cable resolves and that in the strength that we get through this. It's, it's tonka tough. I've been using this cable for a number of things. I've been using it for all night astro lapses with the uh, Lumilapse before when I was using the iPhone. Uh, I've been using this to charge. I've been using this to data transfer from the Samsung to the, uh, oh, the Mac Studio here, um, the, the Samsung Galaxy, when I've got large data files, like 4K video files that go for a long time, or lots of raw files that I want to edit on the computer. I'd usually use the local send app, but uh, when they're big files, I tend to use a cable, it just goes that bit quicker. I also use it in the car to charge different things while I'm traveling around, and in the car, it tends to get a bit moved around, um, and it's worked just fine. This comes in 1.5 meters, which is this one. It also comes in a two meter cable and they're both the same, just the length is a little bit different. It's one of those things that is just, it's a friggin' boring subject, but when these things fail, your whole bloody thing fails. The wheels fall off and nothing goes right. You can't charge, you can't data transfer, all that sort of business. So you want a good cable. And I say it pretty much every time I review something, if it says it's going to do something and it does it, I'm pretty happy. So the Zyke USB-C to USB-C, I'll link it down the bottom. See you guys next time. Catch ya.